Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and this is Lumber Tycoon 2. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, anyhow, I didn't really have any plans for tonight, like always, and uh, I decided to just load up and kind of, like, I really want to get this stuff finished out because uh, finishing the pixel art felt really good. So I'm just going to destroy these real quick because we don't need them. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, dude. What are you doing? There we go. Destroy that. Uh, these, I'm just, I'm going to move these out of the way. Because these have been useful ever since I originally made them. Like, all over the place. But we're going to move these. Dude, why are you pushing me? Please don't glitch me out. There we go. Push these down. Get this over here. Move this over here. Uh, right there. That's good. That's a good spot. Laputman. Hello, hello Code. Hello, how are you? <laughs> uh, we can destroy that. Uh, this is a piece of wood. We can probably get that out. That's that's a that's a thing. Oh gosh, I got messages. People are messaging me, and my backpack's full. I picked up all the uh, the axes that were. <coughs> sorry, a little far away. I picked up all the axes that were still in the living room, so I could pull them over here. Uh, I don't really know where everything's gonna go yet, but. That's okay. Okay, so this is a pink axe. Alpha axe. There we go. Right in there you go. And then number nine. Nine is fine. It's an alpha time. It's Oh, it's a beta. It's a beta axe. And eight. That's a beta. Wink. And then seven. Uh, that's another beta. And then six. That's a fire. Uh, four. What is this? Four. Oh, <laughs> I'm in a pooper. Um, there we go. Mini axe can go right in there. <coughs> Code, tomorrow night, <coughs> can you play Rocket Tester, please? I'll message you and send you the link. I don't know, maybe. I don't, I don't want to make promises of playing games. Like, tonight, I was going to play a different game called, like, Area 113, Area 113, or something. <coughs> Which I think is supposed to be, like, a play on, uh... Uh, what is it? Area 51? Area 52? Whichever one it is. Anyhow. It's a... Uh, it's a fighting game. And I was playing it there for a second, but then... I kind of got bored. And then I remembered I haven't done uh, the Lumber tonight. So, came over here to do Lumber Tycoon 2. Come on. Come on. One more? One more? No. Backpack's full. Oh well. It's okay. Hello, little lonely blue bone turkey. <laughs> I've only got one of them over there. I should just combine all the turkeys together, you know? Um, I mean, I'm doing it with the these specialty axes, which I probably should not do. I should probably sort those out eventually. But I'm lazy, and I don't want to. This one can go right here. And this one go right here. And this one goes over here. Number eight, number eight, number eight, eight, eight. That one goes right there. All right, chicken. <laughs> it's amazing that the chicken and the oh, the chicken and the Twitter symbol are like at the same angle. Hold on, what, what's going on? Open box. What? What is that? Oh, wait, is that a box? <gasps> it's a box. Is it a numbered box? It is number twenty-three. Whoop, toilet again, golden toilet, tiny toilet. Excuse me, there we go. Ooh, I got some decorations. I need to put those up in a way as well. Poor thing. <laughs> All right, um, let's go put this away in the garage. Halloween decorations go over here. There we go. Not sure what to do about that. Um, here. Let's go ahead and start in the garage. That seems like the most likely place to start building. I think, oh gosh, I'm stuck. All right, out floors. Should I use tiles, large tiles? I feel like I should use large tiles just because that's what I feel. Let's see here, just snug right in there. 
maybe. Just, no, just right. Mm. That, it, oh, that did that. Ooh, I don't like the way that turned out. Actually, yeah, I don't, I don't like that. I want it to go up one. Can it go up one, please? Let's see, turn, turn. Oh, oh, there it goes. There we go, that's where I want it. Alright, now we can destroy this one. And then, I should just do the same thing across for all of these. Down and up. There's two. Three. Is this gonna fit? Awesome. Four. And then... Is that going to fit right there? One, two, three. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hold on. I gotta move that one back in. Oh gosh. Did that? That's not lined up. Refresh his palette, eh? What? Be right back and get some water. Ah, uh, give me water, refreshes the palate. Ah, gotcha. Okay. I was wondering what you were talking about. Hold on. Get just a little bit closer. There it goes. <clears throat> and then we can go five, large tile, and this should fit right here at the end. Just right on the. <sighs> Come on. Right. Maybe if I, maybe if I jump up, oh gosh, up and over here, and walk off to the side. Dude, watch out, you're standing right in my, oh, okay, there it goes. Come on, come on, please. That is just not going to go on there, is it? Well... That's okay. I do have to mimic the uh, the attic door, so that'll be fun, you know. Hold on, is that going to fit? Please tell me you shall fit. Why is this thing so hard to place? Oh, because it's because I'm working with tiles again. It feels like the treehouse off Sample Life all over again because I'm using tiles, large tiles. Hmm, no, let's get this eh, destroyed. Destroyed. All right, well, while that's uh, sitting there, hello. <clears throat> this is one of those old big TVs. Uh, it's not old. Well, no, it's not. It's not old. It's a fairly recent one. It's a. It's a Mitsubishi. Mitsubishi. It's a fairly. It's a nice TV. I mean, we still have to buy bulbs for it every once in a while. But <coughs> it was. Um, hold on. Why is one? Do we not have? Oh, I don't have a one. We have a bird axe. We have chicken axe, and we have gingerbread axe. Slim pickings. Alright, oh, look out. Two, three, four, five. It's not bad. One, two, three, four, five. Um, I think a maniac would work a lot better on this. Oop. Oh. Stuck again. I'm gonna destroy this chair just because it gets in the way every single time. I can put I can put another chair back later if I need to. <clears throat> but um, maniacs, maniacs, maniacs. Thank you. And we're gonna actually going to switch the maniacs to the front spot, like so. Mm -hmm. Oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. <clears throat> there we go. That's what I'm talking about.
Okay, is that is that it? I think that's it. Nope, that was not it. <laughs> we still have quite a few to go. Alright, there's two. Uh okay, that's that's it for that one. Zoink. Our house in the middle of our street. Wait. <clears throat> oh, code. I think we might have ADHD. Might be ADHD bros. <laughs> We're ADHD bros. I don't. Don't know if that's a thing. <laughs> but if you do have ADHD, I totally understand where you're coming from. I really do. I do my own sound effects too. No, really. I like. I like folly. Uh, if you don't know what folly is, that's uh, sound effects. So the, the sound of <coughs> a dog walking down a street is like, um, you can take paper clips, put them on the tips of your fingers, and go across a, a table with them. It, it sounds like... Or if you need a, a horse sound, you take coconuts and like bang them together, and that's the sound. Or if you need like wind or something. You know, folly sounds. That's, that's what I... I like folly. Putting sound effects on things. Oh, which is also why I did such a good job with the uh, <coughs> the intros. Okay, hey buddy. By the way, Code, I'm 80s, 90s music fan also. Nice! More than a feeling. <clears throat> Sorry. Le Putman. Oh wait, this is not the tile that I was looking for. These are not the tiles that you're looking for. Um, what do you know about Karate Kid? Because I was very disturbed to find out that most of my co-workers don't know what Karate Kid is. <sighs> I think I, I mentioned this yesterday. But it's, it's really disturbing, like... Really? You guys don't know what Karate Kid is? Please, parents, uh, educate your children on who Karate Kid is. Daniel LaRusso and, and Johnny... Lawrence, please don't let this generation grow up without knowing the 80s. 1984, actually, I think. I mean, you can if you want them to, but I mean, you gotta go on this entire, like, memory road trip up with them. That was, like, one of my favorite things to do, is to go over uh, Brian. Bo Bing Bingham, Beam Beeman, Brian Bo Beeman. I remember Triple B. That was one of my best friends growing up. And Brian, if you're watching, or if you've got like kids that watch or something like that, dude, contact me. I haven't talked to you in like forever. Um, anyhow, we went over to his house, and he had the coolest Coleco and uh, Atari. Anyhow. I remember watching Karate Kid over at his house. We got popcorn. Our moms were best friends. And then uh, he had a sister. My mom's name was the same as her name. So. <clears throat> my dad is a is the black sheep because everyone else in my family was in the army. Code, one thing you and my dad have in common is you were both in the USMC. United States Marine Corps, Uncle Sam's misguided children. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, there's a lot of more acronyms and stuff that I could say, but they're not family friendly. <clears throat> Which is also kind of funny because, like, um, a lot of you know me as Code Primate, the family friendly YouTuber dad person, and you don't, like, really see the, the Marine Corps <laughs> oorah come out every once in a while. Every once in a while, you get to see a peak or a, a shadow, and that's fun. Uh, I don't know why. Like, I, I like the ura part. Okay, I, I liked running. I liked the marches. I liked shooting the rifles. I love the shooting range, rifle range. But um, I won't get into it. Not too much. I didn't like the political part of it. Like, for example, I had some sergeants who were hardcore inspection 
inspection this, inspection that, press your uniform every day. And I'm like, <clears throat> guys, you do realize that on your camouflage, your utilities, it has a tag on the back that says, do not starch. Literally, part of the instructions. And you didn't care. You counted me off and you said, well, you could have pressed it more. And then you're like, okay, how would I press it more? And then be like, you got to use starch. You're not supposed to use starch. Read your instructions. Follow rules. <laughs> Sorry. You know, I'm, I'm also one of those argumentative, argumentative kind of people who likes to challenge some rules every once in a while. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm saying stand up for what you believe in even when you have to stand alone. Yes, you can quote that, because I don't think I'm the original person that said it. Stand up for what you believe in, even if you have to stand on your own. I could have been like, <laughs> it is a great thing to stand up against your enemies, but it's a great deal more to stand up to your friends. 10 points to Gryffindor. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> For those of you that didn't know where that quote came from. How many people have watched Harry Potter? Like that was, what, 2000? The year 2000? That was like 19 years ago. Wasn't it? Oh gosh. How does that make you guys feel? <laughs> you guys are old. I love Harry Potter. Don't make fun of Harry Potter. <clears throat> so, uh, turn, turn. Come on, what's going? What's going on here? Why is this so? It's, it's oh, there it goes. Sweet, got it. <gasps> Are you bringing me a gingerbread? Thank you. Oh my gosh, is that for me? Thank you. Don't put it in his face, bud. No, no, put it in my face. Yes. <gasps> it's a gingerbread axe. Gingerbread. Gingerbread. What is this? Whoa, 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 dude. Are you are you sure? Are you sure? This is a lot. <laughs> Shout out to O Kill Killum three thousand. Thank you so so much. I'll never be able to use all of it. Thank you. That is awesome. Eyeballs and amber cheated. Fire, snowball, snowball. Fire, fire. A regular turkey. Dude, you got one of the originals. That is like some old school stuff right there. Got the cranberry sauce. In the description, doesn't it say like cranberry sauce is the best because um, after you, here it is. You know the best part about cranberry sauce when you remove its contents, it's like you have two cans. <laughs> this is so true. <laughs> oh gosh. Got a red bobbly head. Here, I'll, I'll go ahead and open that up and then we'll, uh, we'll just stick that on the back there. Uh oh. Stick that on the back like that. Awesome bobbly head. Okay, uh, let's fin finish this out. What time is it? All right, we've got 20 minutes into the video and I've not done anything. <clears throat> you know, I always say like, uh, I was gonna open up all the presents and all the gifts and stuff like that, but the, I keep jumping over to like the main one that's right out here in front. I'm like, boink. <laughs> yeah, that's a present, I forgot. But it's a very light present that like, I can use as a step ladder. So I'm not sure I wanna get rid of it yet. Birch trees, we're gonna to need to get a lot more birch. You guys see that? And I should probably move that koi, koa, back over. Dude. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no, no. Uh, hold on. There. Oh. That is awesome. And I got gingerbread axes now. Okay, I am full. 
Thank you guys. Really. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so, so, so much. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dude, what are you doing? Is it just me, or did everything just, like, slow down all of a sudden? Oh, gosh. Do you guys see that lag spike? It's crazy. <laughs> I say that like it was a snowstorm. Did you guys catch that, that lag spike last night? Yeah, man, that was crazy. Yeah, I drove up here from Philly, and, and the whole way, people were just waving their hands in slow motion. It was like, slow down. And I don't know. Yeah, I saw it on the news this morning. Bad lag storms was coming. I don't, I don't know. Sorry. I'm not very good at that, that accent. Is it, is it an accent? It wouldn't be an accent, right? It's still an accent. Zoink. Zoink. 91%. Okay, that's not good. That one. There we go. Zoop. Zoop. A zoop. Shazam. Wasn't that an old TV show with um, Shaq O'Neal? Something like that. Shazam. Wasn't he a genie? <sighs> no, that's not gonna work. Up and over. And then I can slice a little slice a little piece off like that. And that should complete the other one. One last one. Glorious. Oh wait, we still got one more over here, don't we? Okay, um let's go to four large tile, large tile. Please tell me it will go in here. That's no, not a large tile. B for large. B52. Got it. Sweet. So, that one I'll have to fill in. One last piece. You got a piece? No. You got double axes. Dude. It's the Manny axe with the ginger axes, like, reach power. So you can chop wood from hundreds of feet away. 32 blocks, actually. 32 blocks away, you can chop wood. Just kidding. It's not real. It's just an illusion. In fact, he doesn't even see it on his side. It's only my end. <clears throat> my dad says anything with a graphics card in it is a gaming PC, laptop, phone, whatever. <clears throat> um, I have, I have an old, um, e-machine. It's from nine, uh, actually it's from 2000, 2004, 2005. It's got a graphics card in it, but it's got an old graphics card that I put in myself and I bought for very cheap from Best Buy, uh, simply to play, um, what is it? Uh, to play Second Life. Back whenever Second Life was like heavy graphics and stuff. I was very happy with my purchase. Until I brought it home and found out that I needed a different power supply. E <laughs> Sorry, Liz. I have to spend an additional $180 for a different power supply. Sorry. Oh, we should totally hide something down in there. Wait. Idea. Um... It'll be like my emergency storage stash for... Oh, that is awesome. Okay, so just remember, in my house, in the utility closet, you move this wall, and you will find a hidden axe. Or if you're in the kitchen, you move this wall, and the axe is... Oh, well, it's still... It's in there. Oh gosh, oh god. I hit B. It's not letting me hit B at all. Oh, there it goes. B. And I did I just hear a detection? That was a detec detector, wasn't it? 
I don't know. Anyhow, we're at 25 minutes. Um, this was fun. I'm, but I'm probably going to go play some Undertale now. Um, it looks like we're going to have to fix a lot of this stuff. <sighs> Same here. Sorry about the five extra, like five less minutes than normal, but I mean it's 25 minutes, and we're we're just kind of hanging out, having fun anyway. So I'll continue to build onto the house. Uh, we'll put in some some lights. I need I need two lights. There's a there's a light right here. And then there's a light right here. I'll have to I'll have to put those in somehow, and then uh, maybe even put in my my little desk right here, where I sit to record. In fact, I'm sitting in relativity to my actual house in real life. I'm sitting right about here, looking at that camera right there, which is actually facing that direction. So. Uh, actually, w with where you're sitting at watching my camera, like, my coffee is at my left hand in, in the world. You understand. You uh, you know. Thank you, everyone, for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all those cool things that you're supposed to do at the end, but it's really up to you. I love you guys very much. Have a great night, and I hope to talk to you very soon. Outro.